Hey guys, welcome to Cooking and Cakin. And today I am making one of my family's favorite, Texas barbecue meatloaf. It's really, really, really good and it's very simple to make. All you need is beef, uh, a couple of seasonings, egg, and barbecue sauce. You can do your favorite. I am using Sweet Baby Ray's and a cup of sauteed onions. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, I sauteed this on a medium low heat with the butter and it's pretty much done because I'm going to add it to the, um, the meat right now. I am going to mix this up for you really, really quick and it's really simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the meat in here and I'm just stirring it up and using a uh, clear bowl so hopefully you guys can see it. And I am using 48 ounces of beef which is uh, three pounds, okay? Let's get that in there. Get all of that in there real quick. Take this out the freezer and let it uh, defrost a little out and then uh, on the counter and then put it in the fridge. You know, you have to put this in a container because beef is really bloody. It runs, it'll be all in your fridge if you don't, all right? Get all that in there. Ah! <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go ahead and um, crack two eggs. So that's one and two. Okay, I am going to also um, add one clove of garlic. I forgot to tell you guys, I do like garlic. Usually I use um, minced garlic, but we did not have it. So I am then going to put that here and crush it. Ah. There we go. Real good, real good. Press it, press it, press it. Okay. Then I go ahead and make sure it's all good in there. Just do one. Depending on how garlicky I want it, I do two. And honestly, this is not gonna be garlicky enough for me. I'm gonna add another one. That's the one thing I love about cooking. You just kind of play it by ear and do what you want. I'm gonna crush it up real good with the back of my spoon. And then I make sure I uh, come behind and chop it. Okay? All right, so now I'm gonna add that to my mixture. I'm going to add black pepper. And black pepper, I usually add like a half a teaspoon, okay? For salt, I like to use the pink Himalayan salt. You can use regular, and I usually do about a teaspoon. There we go. Okay? Alrighty, now, I go ahead and I mix this up just a little bit. Push it, get it all pushed down. And then I add um, about two thirds cup of the sauteed onions. Now it was a cup, but it sauteed, it uh, cooked down. So I add two thirds of this here. I love the onion because it gives it a real good flavor. Okay, and I save like a third for my sauce, okay, for the top. I have to cook it down um, because my husband and one of my sons does not like onions. So it has to be cooked if it's uncooked. All right, now 
I add a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. You use your favorite. I love Sweet Baby Ray's, sweet and spicy. They also have like three other flavors, hickory. Now, as you can tell, I'm eyeballing this because I know what a, a quarter cup is. And I mix that and put that into my mixture. Actually, it gives it a nice flavor and this is why you don't have to add a lot of other seasonings to it. I promise you guys, um, depending on how much you love barbecue and barbecue sauce, if you eat it this way, believe me, you're gonna love it. Like, this is the only way I'm allowed to make it in, in my house, okay? All right, so, got my egg in there, my onions in there, the pepper, my salt, my garlic, and my, all the rest of the ingredients in there. See how good this is, it has a nice color. The egg helps it bind and stick together. Because guys, this is a lot. I do not put it in a meatloaf pan. I put it in a casserole dish like this, and I like to have leftover. I am now gonna go ahead and butter my pan. Spray it down so it doesn't stick. All right guys, now you go ahead and toss it in there. And you notice that you can still see my onions because they're gonna cook even more in uh, the stove. Okay, get it all good in there and get it down. You're gonna preheat your oven way before you start, of which I did not do, but you preheat your oven to 375. That's what I cook mine at. And I do mine, when it's this amount, I cook it for at least 45 minutes. Now, some ovens cook faster than others, even at 375, so you really have to eyeball it. And every now and then, if you're unsure, you just kinda cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for 40 to 45 minutes. Until done. Okay guys, so now that I have my meatloaf in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce and just kinda set it to the side while we're waiting. So I'm going to go ahead and add the barbecue sauce. And I love this one because it's, you know, has a nice flavor to it. I usually add about three-fourths cup of barbecue sauce to my mixture, okay? So, and I kind of know how much that is. <laughs> I'm straight eyeballing it. Okay. Yeah. My husband likes a lot of sauce, so it's gonna be saucy. Okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the remainder of the sauteed onions to that. Put that in there. Okay. And all I do is really, I don't even need a spoon. I use my little knife. Stir it up real good. Mm -hmm. It's nice and thick. Now, I got that the way I want it. Like I said, guys, it's really simple. Um, if your barbecue sauce doesn't have spice to it and you want it, just add some black pepper. If it's too tangy, you want it sweeter, just add some brown sugar. But it's real, it's real simple, okay? I'm pretty much done and I'm gonna set it to the side and we are gonna add this to the meatloaf 10 minutes before it's done. It's all done and I'm gonna go ahead and pour off some of that the juice that came from it. I only poured off some of the oil and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce on top. And evenly, go ahead and put your sauce on top of the meatloaf. I like some of the oil from the meatloaf that gets baked off because it keeps it from getting too dry and it keeps it moist. All right, and I put this in for another 10 minutes because um, I want the onions that are on top to uh, caramelize a little bit more. Making sure I got everything there and it's on all, all, all of it. This tastes really good, y'all. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the, whoop, 
oven. We are all done. I got it on my plate, and like I said, this is one of my family favorites. I think you guys will really like it. Feel free to change things up, and um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you next video. Goodbye.